Hey guys, it's Tiffany with Less Bears, mother of nine, soon to be ten in the fall. Um, I'm making a no-bake cheesecake here. It was Kennedy's request as she just had her 16th birthday, so we've had a whole lot of life changes here, some big news. It's been crazy, so I wanted to give you guys an update, and you'll be hearing a lot of my voice just as you see a lot of what we've been doing, and hopefully I can get you guys all up to par. So I made some lasagna, but I was in such a hurry before I had to get to a ball game that I didn't show the whole thing because I was in such a huge rush. Go, 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 Watch that ball. Alright, don't hit your brother. Oh my gosh, girls, boys. Okay, you gonna ride Sissy's bike? Alright, show me how you do it. Where's your bicycle? Alright, hey, look at him. He figured out how to pedal. Do your sit ups. That's it. You get it, girl. Alright, good job, Ellie. Good job. That's exciting. Maybe it's just a single mom ready to find a single mom. mom. <laughs> Benjamin. Are you having a fun time? Is that fun? Yeah. Finally get to ride your bike. Okay. I'm getting ready to go to my doctor appointment and I wanted to give you guys an update on the pregnancy and how life has been. <sighs> and I was just waiting on the perfect time and guess what? There is no such thing as the perfect time because life has been, I keep saying life is crazy, but it really is for me lately. So anyways, I got to hurry up though, or I'm going to be late. I will give you guys updates as we go. <laughs> No. Get her hair. Get her hair. Guys, stop being rude. <laughs> All right, ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. No, 
I can't see you. Come on. Make sure she can see you. Thank Jesus. Hey, Nana. Oh my God. So yes, on Whitney's 18th birthday, Ty asked the big question, and. I am so excited for them. Honestly, God is the one who picked him out for her a long time ago. He is so much like Stephen, and he wants to give her everything, and she obviously is crazy about him, too. And I got married at 18, and I know that they will make it as long as they put God as the head of their family. Best boys ever. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie? Something by you. It's summer. Yeah, it's, it's winter, uh, plastic, summer, and fall. Mom, it's winter, winter, summer, and fall. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, if I get this, what else can I get? Uh, this is 16 You have about $13 left. That is so That's cool. This. Got all kinds of stuff. How much is this? That? Uh, 15 Fifteen. What's that awesome thing? Can I get out of this car? I want to buy some of them. Hmm. You see all these cars? I would be scared. You see all those cars? What is that? It's a bike. Is it creepy? It's creepy. That's a $6. lot. Mom, it's $6. What is it? Oh, my. Where's its head? Look, like, there's his eyes. It's a, it's a turtle. Oh. <laughs> like, Ellie. <laughs> you guys are funny. I'm going to poop. What would you do again if you got this? What would you do? Tell me. It means you know. Well, what would you do? You it said you would put it somewhere. Where would you put it? I put it right here. No, you said I will put it on my what? Bed. No, she said her back. So this was Roman's very first time to have some ball lessons. Uh, he just turned five, so he's learning how to hold the back correctly and how to put his feet the right way and. So he had a great time and he was so excited to be kind of like one of the big kids. I've been trying my best for a while, trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile, even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just wanna go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't wanna be Stuck in boring conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna start with new Good, I promise. Um, I found some organic lamb on sale at our nearest Kroger. 
And so I, it's half lamb, half beef. Of course, I'm browning it's raw still. But we're going to, and then of course I have to drain it, but we're gonna have street tacos. We had street tacos for Whitney's birthday. I really didn't film a lot of her birthday. Um, just been needing a break and just wanted to focus on her. So I have a, just a tiny bit of that that you guys will see, but we are using our, we had extra shells that we bought. This is called smoked Serrano. It's pretty good on top. We've got some sauce. I have some hot. This is medium. I have hot in our fridge. I'm toasting these tortilla shells as we speak. I gotta do that real quick and then I'll show you the rest. Um, and drink my coffee. We've got some leftover lettuce from a couple of days ago. Like I showed you the shells, we squirt lime on our street tacos. It's really good. I have some leftover Southwest salad that I figured someone may want to put on their taco. And we have pico de gallo and some cilantro. So we're having that today for our lunch. So that's what I'm trying to hurry up and get ready. Let's see what time is it. It is, and yes, we haven't cleaned our stove today. At 12.21, so yeah, that gives Steven enough time to eat with us, which is what my goal was. How good it is. This is mine. And everybody else is enjoying their food. Are the tacos good? Mm -hmm. So lamb is not that bad? Trick question, huh? It's got lamb in it. Isn't that good? Yeah. So my mom and my sister and I all went to this nearby teacher supply store. And so I really didn't film a lot. Like I told you, I just kind of needed some time. But I just filmed a little bit and we had a really good time. And uh, went out to eat and then had to hurry and get back home to the family. Making sausage balls for our breakfast. It's pretty easy. Sausage, pork sausage, flour. This is our second batch we're gonna do. We just use organic flour. A little bit of baking powder, cheese, and I added a tiny bit of milk to like get it kind of wet and come together. Really and amazing. they're making balls and sitting them here. Balls? called sausage balls and then we'll bake them in the oven and then we will put a little bit of syrup on top they're really good that's one of their favorite things to eat daddy taught them how to make it my goodness michael you guys did that yeah that's a lot that's Mom, half that's of our not, batch that's not oh good job rome been working on our garden of course I didn't film because I got dirt all under my nails I've been cleaning I'm trying to clean this off we're now putting the compost on top good job Michael we're really late in the game for gardening but I bought the plants that were already growing Ben, get down. <gasps> Boys. I can eat them. Put them down there. Oh, let me see. Look at Nana. Look up here. Say cheese. So our family has been sick off and on due to whatever is in the air from the Canadian wildfires or whatever. At least that's what I associate it with. And so it's just been off and on taking care of kids. I haven't shared a lot because I've really lost a lot of sleep. But Roman felt good that day. So he and I and Michael <laughs> went to the park. Michael had a tryout for ball and Roman and I spent some time together. Be careful. So today was 14 years ago that I gave birth to a little girl who obviously didn't make it on this side. Her name is Gabriella Gale. And so that is Stephen walking out. Instead of releasing balloons, we decided to do flowers because the balloons are becoming a bit too much as time passes it's just too much and and all of that so anyways this is us out at the graveyard i of course didn't record a whole lot but we held hands and prayed and just gave thanks to god for giving her to us and for changing our life so we've got 
got a bubble on our ceiling. Yeah. That's water trying to come through. Yeah. To give you guys all an update because if I don't do it right now with kids in the background, it's not going to happen. So you're going to hear them in the background jumping and splashing. Sorry, this is just how it is for right now. Um, so today, like just for example, today's Gabriella, our child that we lost 14 years ago. Her birthday in heaven, and so we went and um, went to the graveyard. This year we finally have a headstone for her because it was outrageous. and So we finally got that in the last year. And um, so we went out there as a family and we prayed and we kind of talked to God. And, and anyways, it's just this whole thing that we do. And so we got through that, came home. Steven's like doing all this stuff for heating and cooling. They're talking to me. So, anyways, long story short, we come home, he's doing stuff, like I said, and then all of a sudden, Leland's like, Mom, Mom, come here right now, and I was like, okay. It sounded really urgent, so I went and checked, and then there was, yes, a bubble of water coming from our roof. It looked like a bubble because we used that kind of paint, the really, what's it called, glossy paint, so it was like plasticky, and it held the water back it looked like this dome and I was like oh great so something happened with our air handler which is up in the attic and water was released and it got into the what is that called insulation and it ended up leaking and getting all the nasty getting the insulation wet and going through to the drywall essentially of the ceiling and so Stephen had to suck all that out. It was so hectic. I didn't film it because like no one appreciates when life is stressful and tough to like film everything. It's just annoying and it's just anyway. So that happened. So then we thought we we're going to have to file it. Sorry, I got my bathing suit on. But, um, so then I thought we we're going to have to file an insurance claim because I didn't know how bad it was. Someone came out and, and I was like, tell the honest to God's truth, is it worth this amount of money, which our deductibles really, for in my opinion, high. Okay, like almost $1,400. And he's like, no. So he told me what to do. So we're gonna do it ourselves to save that because it's not that pricey to fix on our own. And then we won't have a claim on our insurance, which is nice, you know, because we don't need, it's already went up more. I'm sure yours has too. And it's just getting ridiculous. So anyways, that's what's happened. So I didn't freak out during any of it. I was just like, okay, whatever. There's so many things that has happened throughout life. Stuff breaks. I mean, it's just recently we had our, kind of recently, we had our, one of my wash machines went out. I haven't had a dishwasher in like two years now. Um, I could buy one, but I've went through four of them. Four or five of them. And they just break. Like they're just, I don't know if it's us. I don't know, you know, stuff's not made that well. We use it more than people, like normal people. They only might use theirs once a day. Once every couple days, we use it three to four times a day because... You know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, plates, all that. So, that happened a while back. But then our actual clothes washing machine, I had three. They're going to be loud. Hold on. I'm holding it still, okay? So, anyways, I, you know, we have a lot of people. And so, I had three washers and dryers. And my third one, my eldest one, died. My wash machine so, like, all these things that broke, our little fridge broke, like, a couple of weeks ago. We did thought, so anyways, out. Ellie just got a bug in her eye, so I had to help her with that. Thank you. So, um, so the refrigerator, thank God, it was one part of it froze up. I think the kids didn't shut the freezer correctly, and it made one part of it, like, work harder. And then the, I don't know how it all works, but basically we took it outside, cleaned it out, thawed it out plugged it back in and so far it's working so I pray that stays because that's our it's our little fridge and I use it for like eggs and milk and stuff in so we can buy a lot of gallons of milk at once and not have to go to the store like every day um because you know when you have a large family it's at least a gallon of milk a day at least I mean and plus when I bake I use milk to make biscuits and all kinds of things extra so 
those are kind of some of the some of the annoying things that have happened there's been other stuff but i can't even think of it all honestly there's just it's just life so um i finally gardened um it's a tiny garden it's just four little bales of straw i, would call, I want to say hay but it's really straw and you guys see the butterfly and so I just dumped some dirt and like um, compost from my brother-in-law and I found some plants that already were growing because it's way too late in the game to plant a seed right now. So it's doing pretty well over there. They're looking healthy and we'll just see what happens. Um, baseball has finally come to a close. They are in their private ball lessons, um, but it's just not that often and it's not that big of a deal. It's nothing that's too much started going back to church which is nice um i'm just trying to think of all the things like baseball was literally on church nights it was insane um just trying to get into the swing of <laughs> being home thank god um asking god to help my heart with different situations that's going on forgiving people um just there's just so much so anyways and my kids have been sick a lot um every since they said that there was like a ozone alert literally at that time it's been constant allergies which is not normal for us at all and so it's it's just been one thing after another like one kid will be sick and then the other one will get sick two days later and it's like not ever at the same time it literally they space it out and it takes forever so, I've been getting into my natural um, herbal things, remedies. This is so loud. I hope you can hear me over all of the noise. Um, so, yeah. So, I started making our own homemade mayonnaise, which is really, really good. So, um, just looking into ingredients. Like, I'm not going super crazy. But because they've been so sick, I'm like, we've got to change. We've got to build up our immune systems. If there's toxins in the air... Um, I definitely want to have less toxins in what they eat. So, been doing that. Um, just trying to do more whole foods. For instance, like if we have a sandwich instead of nasty chips. I really don't like chips that much and my kids don't really either. Um, I will have a sandwich with either a salad on the side or they will have like a big peach or apple or whatever. Of course, it's more money than a cheap bag of chips, but it's a lot healthier. So, that's what we've been doing. Um, I was out here in the pool. I've been trying to get in the pool and just enjoy life with the kids. And let's see what else. Um, oh, yeah, baby update stuff. So, I have made it today, today, to 30 weeks, which is insane. I'll show you some belly pictures at the end of all this. I cannot believe it. It's been... Like, it feels like it has just flown by. Um, I'm doing cloth diapers. And so, I um, ordered some covers. I need to get the little things that go in. They're called pre-folds. I need to get some small ones. I have some bigger baby sizes that I've had since I had Leland. And he's 11. I've had him for a long time. Um, but they're in the attic. So, I need someone... Uh, one of my big kids, her husband, to go up in the attic and locate this box of diapers. So, I've just been, I kind of have that on my mind. I'm asking my mom, I don't have my mom to make the uh, diaper wipes. You can buy them. I just like them made. I bought some cute material from Hobby Lobby the other day. And I just want cute little wipes, okay? Normally I make them, but my sewing machine broke like everything else so I just threw it away I gave up on getting it fixed and I was just like I'll just buy another one later because it's gonna be more money to fix it than to just buy a new one so she's gonna do that my mom had a heart attack this is another reason why I haven't vlogged so my mom was feeling funky and I just knew something was up and she went to the hospital and sure enough she had a heart attack so that's been going on also. She's better now. She's Some at home. of our updates. <laughs> it took forever to share all of that. So yeah, heart attacks, engagements, broken things, 
all of the above. Um, the good news is my ceiling is fine. The bubble's gone. It just went back up into the regular shape. I can't even tell where it was. It's dry up there, so that's great news. And yeah, so anyways, I'll be sharing some more updates because I have a lot more to talk about. And I also have a Q and A, a closet tour, some meals coming up on a video, some lunch ideas, how we homeschool and what we're doing this year. I've got a lot coming up. So anyways, it's good to be back. I will see you guys on the next one.